Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nasze programy oferują wiele języków. Prosimy zobaczyć suprememastertv.com ukośnik schedule. What would happen if uh, Mr. Biden were to become president? America will lose trust from the international community. Mm -hmm. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Salam Alaikum means hello in Wolof, one of the main languages spoken in Senegal. My name is Amina. The kind people of Senegal sincerely wish for Allah's light to guide your faithful hearts. Located at the westernmost point of Africa, sun-kissed Senegal and its coastal capital Dakar has a lively and rich culture. Traditional Sangalese dress includes the large and stylish Bubu gown. Senegal is known for its musical heritage, especially the vigorous and fast-paced Mbaleks, which originated as sacred music with the ethnic Sera group repopularized by Senegalese musician Yusun Ndour. Mbelex has been adapted as dance music along with its signature Sabai drumming rhythm. Children often learn to dance at an early age. This musical style is often played at both social gatherings and for religious events. Senegal has seven World Heritage Sites, as designated by UNESCO. Neokolo Koba National Park contains many different plants as well as more than 70 species of mammals. These include the Derby Eland, which is Africa's largest antelope. Another World Heritage Site is Juj National Bird Sanctuary, a vast wetlands haven that receives millions of migrating birds each year, many of which have just crossed over the Sahara Desert. There is also Basari country, first established in the 11th century by the Basari, Beidik, and Fula peoples. Their communities, distinctly different in cultural style, still thrive today. We appreciate this opportunity to briefly share with you the warm and hospitable Senegal, elegant viewers. May divine love continue to blossom in your beautiful hearts. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, 
such as the worshipped world-honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lotsu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008. February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc. Anne has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai 
respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the International Vegan Restaurants Loving Hut, Vegan Food Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Thursday, December 24, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful call conference entitled, May the Righteous Triumph, Part 3 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on December 24, 2020. And you ask me how come he has such personality, yeah? Yes. I tell you something about physical influence first, okay? Yes. Yes. There were three reasons why he has such a uh, personality that let people don't like, okay? Yes. Uh, because he, he tells straight things. He tells things, no nonsense. Yes. And he also does things not like conventional uh, politicians would have done, okay? Yes. But yes. even though it helps the country and helps the world, there were three reasons that he has such personality. Number one is the background. He's American, no? Yes. <laughs> and you know the American film culture, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, Anything goes on the screen. You know, all kind of cursing and swearing, all kind of slangs and all kind of that. He's grown up with it, no? True. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, the peer, peer influence, they all say like that, or most of them say that, or many of of the students are saying things like that, or kids are saying that, even younger kids, the little kids are saying this kind of thing all the time already. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes Master. Calling names and judging and all that, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then so he, he's used to it, no? Mm. Yes. It just comes out, yeah? When I was in America, sometimes it comes out something that I was surprised <laughs> myself. <laughs> because I would not even, in, until now, never dare say that in Vietnamese or Chinese. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I, when I say that, it means too much, yeah? Yes. But when I was in America, I could say something, you know, not too bad, but bad enough for me. <laughs> uh, in English, yeah? Yes. It's yes. terrible. I could say it in English because it's so used to it, but I cannot say it in my own language or in Chinese. You see? Yes, yes. I could say that in German also. <laughs> in German language also, or in, in French even, excuse moi, yeah. You know, sometimes with the M word in French, yes. yes. But it's not like every day or often. It's just some occasion. It just comes out, you know? It just jumps out at me, yeah? <laughs> Somehow. It's deep inside. Every day you hear it. Or often you hear it, and then it just jumps out someday. Yeah. So that's the background. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Yeah, influenced by all the films and all the culture and all the society of America, yeah? Yes. yes. So you cannot blame a guy alone. Because he is not 
born into the political arena, yeah? Yes, he he was a businessman, okay? Yes. And somehow they have picked him to become the president candidate. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to do it. And uh, he wasn't uh, trained and trimmed as a professional politician. Yes, yes. Uh, if you were to join the party since young and you train as a politician and you have political uh, agenda or motivation, yes, yes, then you would try to learn to be like everybody else, you know, talk smooth, yeah, yes. uh, try not to offend everybody, uh, always, uh, you know, be on the... Uh, gentle side, <laughs> stuff like that. Yes, but there is no law in America saying that uh, a president, uh, a politician should be uh, more different than anyone else. Many of them are not different. You can see they have take bribe, they corrupt, and they... See what I mean? Yes, not just a few strong words. I mean, nothing much really. It's not a crime. When he says some some strong word that everybody say every day, and it's not a crime. It's just personality, yeah. yeah. Just yes, a habit, sure. yes. Even then, of course, I, it would have been better if he had learned <laughs> to to be a diplomat, yes. yeah. Yes, but yes. Uh, American law doesn't prescribe that a president has to talk like a diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> There's no law saying that, right? That is true. And there is no law that forbids a president to say some word like other people say outside. <laughs> I, no, I don't think any law like that. Hey, you lawyer, tell me. No, there is not. There yes is not or no? No. No, of course people expect that, or maybe they prefer that way. Of course we all prefer people sweet talk, but that doesn't mean sweet talk is a is a um, foundation for a good person. Yes, master. Some people don't like him because of that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, somebody say that uh, in the newspaper or in the news that I read. Now, number two, number two is frustration, okay? Oh, yes. Being uh, in his position, uh, you can see how frustrated he would have been, yeah? Yes. yes. He must have been. Yes. Because you can see that even the Supreme Court doesn't listen to the president, <laughs> yeah? Mm. Yes. Not to talk about he's also one of the, the citizens who has the right to claim what he believes is good. Yes, yeah, and, and what he believes is wrong. Especially when it comes to the uh, the fate of the whole nation. Yes, yeah? True. Yes, yeah, yes. as well as the international uh, affairs. So he probably let out a few words yes. that he shouldn't have. Maybe. I never heard it. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the media, you know, calling him names also. I read that before. I used to like one of the mainstream television news very, very much, yeah? Yes, yes, please. Uh, I don't watch it often, but when I was watching it before, I used to watch that, okay? Yes, please. You know, really a favorite kind of reporter, main reporter, senior reporter, calling his president names, you see? Wow. Yeah. What's that got to do with his ability as a president? Yes, yeah. And even then, he's a president. Yes. Right? Yes. You should respect his position, yes. his title, yes. because he's, he represents, you know, the constitution, the democracy of your country, the honor of your country. Yeah? Yes. You call him these names, that we speak the low level of your own, you know, personality. Okay? Yes, yes master. Yeah, I don't agree with that. So, before they criticize <laughs> the president, Personality, they should have looked back. Yes, yes master. Uh, look back uh, in, into their own personality. Yeah. Yes, okay. Master. So it's very frustrating for a president to work with all kind of egos and bad mouthing and you know criticize uh, like that for nothing and yes. overlooking all the good thing he does. Yes. So he must feel very very frustrated. He didn't even uh, think of uh, uh, running second time even. Oh, he said he didn't remember why he has to run for second time. Oh, <laughs> mm, that means he didn't want to. Didn't you want see to. what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. But then, of course, his party urged him and other his followers, you know, his supporters and good people, and he think of the things he has to do for his country and for the world. So he continued to, to, to run for president second time. Yeah? Yes, yes. But then uh, it's, it's become like this with the machine. You know, it's so easy to... to 
to make fraud by machine. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. they do all kind of thing with the computer, not to talk about the other kind of machine, which is uh, a, a stranger to <laughs> everyone else already. Yeah, yes. And that machine, uh, I heard that it already has, uh, uh, on the news, yeah? Say that it's designed so that you can oh, you can wow. play with it and make fraud. Oh. Yeah, it designed intentionally. And also has some uh, bad uh, reputation elsewhere in in other countries yes, for yeah. for enabling uh, to the huh yeah, to to hack into and to yeah yeah to hack into or to change or to do anything yeah you want yeah yes, okay you only have to know some tech <laughs> I don't know any tech I couldn't even you know <laughs> handle my computer already you know all that yes. Mm -hmm. But many people are high tech, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So high tech, we already go to the moon and we're going to Mars or Venus next. See what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, and we can see uh, hundreds of millions of light years away, other planets, other other galaxy already. Yeah. Yes. To tamper with a machine is, is, is maybe a piece of cake yes. to some of the high tech people, right? True. True. If they already intend to do that, they can. Yeah. Yes. And also, if you can count more, you can count less, nobody's there to really check you, right? Yes. Even if they check, they did not uh, go and look uh, what you're writing and what you're doing next to you, no? They just sit like six meters away or something and sometimes not even allowed to sit that close to observe the election, the counting or the voting system. Yes. That is all according to your newspapers. Yes, all the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> But there's some truth in it. And another one, uh, more important, is that his contract before he came to the world. Remember, I told you I have to also sign a contract? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Before I came to the world that such and such thing I cannot do, okay? Yes. yes. I cannot use magical power, yes. and I cannot, uh, you know, obviously use any power to heal people, for example, like that, yeah? Yes, Master. Because everybody would follow me then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the, the natural phenomena that uh, exude from my being, uh, emit from my being, or radiate from my being, I cannot intentionally show any of my power or magic or anything like that to seduce people. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know all that. Yes. Yeah. So the same. He was destined to do a great work for his country and for the world. So he has to sign a contract. Yes. Yes. He cannot be... Uh, outwardly looking too perfect. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And like speaking uh, uh, <laughs> smoothly like yes. a diplomat, huh? Yes. Yes. Stuff yes. like that. That's maybe one of the price he has to pay, you see? Ah, yes. Yes. So that his uh, family member, uh, one or two of them, even went against him, you see? Mm. Mm. And also the frustration of working with many incompatible people, yeah? Or incompetent as well. Or the, not the same ideal. Yes, like he's all for peace. And his uh, defense uh, secretary, secretary was wanting to bomb everybody. That's yeah. what he said. For example, like that. It's very frustrating, yeah? Yes. So even COVID-19, his gut told him that people should wear masks. And then he's the highest officer, the highest position of the medical advice in the country. Dr. Fauci told him, oh, don't eat. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Uh, and then Dr. Fauci was praised sky high. And even they made a day in Washington, D.C. for him wow. called Dr. Fauci Day, <laughs> one day. Wow. Yeah, the first day of something. I, I'm not very interested in this, so I don't remember very well. You guys can check, okay? Yes, huh? yes, yes. Yeah. And also say, oh, we should worry more about the flu, the normal flu that we have, the common flu we had before. Yes, yes. He say like that. So right now, don't worry about it. Be more concerned about influenza, which is going into a second peak for the season, than coronavirus. But According to the other newspaper, they've quoted is saying that we should worry more about the flu than these uh, little bugs. Yeah. yeah, you saw that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm seeing all these reports about the coronavirus. Should I wear a mask? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, there is no reason for anyone right now in the United States with regard to coronavirus to wear a mask. Yeah. So that means he discouraged the president. The president already ordered 
a lot, a lot of, of masks to give to everybody. And then he just say like that, yeah? Yes. Yes. And that also deluded the Mr. President and made him sick. And he and his family all got sick because believing Dr. Fauci saying it's nothing, oh. you know? Dr. Fauci say COVID-19 is nothing, it just bugs. You know, the flu is even more worrisome. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But the flu, people already used to it and it wasn't much anymore. So if he told Mr. President that it, it's not as bad as the flu, of course he wear no mask and he didn't want to do anything more. Yes, Until later, then he saw that it's bad, bad, bad. Then he, he had to put personal effort to sign a lot of money for company to research into the vaccine, yeah? Operation yes, everybody told him, oh, everybody say that it takes five, six, seven years or more, yeah? Yes, he made it don't. in five, six, seven months. Yes, yes. Yeah, nobody praise him much. You see any praise anything? No. No. No, no. You see any newspaper print, oh, bravo, Mr. President. Nothing, yeah? yeah? Yes, oh, yes. no. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Yes, Just say, oh, it's a very good. <laughs> 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 Just say, oh, good boy. <laughs> like that, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I'm frustrated also, even mm. if I'm not the president. <laughs> I feel so frustrated <laughs> that people are like that, yeah? And a good person like President Trump. And people try to cast him aside. Yes, yes, and uh, some involved uh, with, I would say, corruption and, uh, and fraud uh, and want to, you know, vote for him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yeah, involved with, with uh, money laundering or whatever it is. But, uh, of course, it's not like he did it himself, you know? The ex vice president? Yes, 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 yes. Maybe not, because maybe they didn't come to that yet. But his name was everywhere. Yes, master. In the business. Yeah, in the business office, in the business meeting, and all kind of thing. And because he was a vice president, therefore he, his son has such a lucrative business doing nothing. And get many, many millions, okay? Yes. And uh, in the old time, yeah, I don't know if America had the law like that now, but in old times, because uh, uh, at the moment, you know, since a few years, uh, the Chinese has become uh, so-called enemy of America. You see what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. Competitors and enemy and a threat to America. That's what they're saying nowadays. I read it in many newspapers. So if you collude, shake hand with the enemies, they would uh, prosecute you for treason. Yes, yes. Yeah, even not just money laundering. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, even you are just uh, suspect. That's why the French uh, um, party didn't vote for uh, Mr. Sarkozy. Because if you vote for a suspect, that means you're also encouraged or you are uh, accomplished. But in America, it's, it's too free or what? They yeah. took freedom too much for granted. They don't know many other countries. Whatever they did like that, or the way they talked to their president like that, they could be in prison already, long yes, time. Yes. Yeah. Even if they don't do it uh, openly, they would uh, find some other excuse to jail you because of talking, you know, bad about the president. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, the yes. Americans are so spoiled. Yeah. So spoiled. You know, I, I hope they continue to keep their freedom because if you take anything for granted, that thing will be taken away from you. Uh, yes, yes, that is true. That's the law, you know, in the universe. What you don't need will be taken away. What you don't appreciate will be gone. Sooner or later, something like that. Uh, so I hope you are happy. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you, Master, for your, your answer. Yeah. And uh, you agree with what I say? I do agree, Mister. Yeah, how about the yes, lawyer? Yes, I agree. Agree, Mister. Do you think I said anything wrong according to the law of America? No, Master. I guess it's like that, right? Yes, Master. Yeah, and uh, anybody who who votes for or sides with the suspect, normally the law would also investigate them. In many cases, in America as well, right? Yes, master. Yeah, because you are suspected to be an accomplice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like together yes. with that suspected person. A suspect is not guilty yet, yes. until proven, but he's still a suspect, okay? Yes, master. That's why Mr. Sarkozy cannot be voted for president again, because people don't want to vote for a suspect. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Until he's clear, yeah? Yes, Maybe, if he's ever cleared. It depends on uh, 
what the situation and what the crime or what the thing. Yeah. But in America, I don't know if that's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> so you ask me, I also don't really know how to answer correctly. <laughs> I mean, hundred yeah. percent, I I can just laugh at it, and I feel also very sad at the same time. Okay, mm-hmm. because yeah. everybody looks up to America as the good example of democracy, yeah, yes. of justice, of protection. But here they are. They're not protecting the righteous and good, excellent president, their own president, who has proven that he is really worth his position more many times over. Yes. Yes. What would happen if uh, Mr. Biden were to become president? Well, what would happen? <laughs> uh, uh, well, it's very difficult to pinpoint, yeah? Yes. But in America, we lose trust from the international community because mm-hmm. because such a dismissing of justice, you know, yeah. and respect to the top country leader. Yes, Mr. Yeah, and such a deliberate kind of actions against him, yeah, yeah. in many ways. And people will also distrust the media, yeah, the mainstream media. Yeah, that's what I worry about. Yeah. I just hope not. But it's too obvious, yeah, it's too obvious. If the justice system doesn't work, then people don't trust it, yeah? Yes, sir. If the media do not report the truth, just report fake news and bias articles, then people don't trust the media. Yes, it is very simple as that, yeah? Yes. Okay, so if the people in America also cannot trust the justice system, then how would the international community Trust America. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, hope everything goes well. Yes, yeah? Yes. All right. We pray for the good president. Yes, yeah. we pray. I am doing it. Yeah, still. Every time. Every time I can. So that's all I can tell you, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. May God bless America. May God get them out of the mess. May the righteous triumph so that your country will continue to prevail, to excel as the good, just, democratic country for all the world to emulate. Yes, Master. Thank you. Gracious viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled May the Righteous Triumph, Part 3 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is the re-air of His Excellency Donald Trump, determined to bring the United States and world forward, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May Allah grace your lives with overflowing blessings. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.